Now, in this video, we will talk about pneumothorax. Pneumothorax is air in a plural space causing partial or complete lung collapse. The pneumothorax may either be traumatic or spontaneous. Traumatic pneumothorax may be simple and tension pneumothorax. I will zoom here a chest wall. This is the lung and chest wall. Between them we have the pleural cavity with thin film of fluid. Under normal conditions at FRC, the lung due to elastic recoil force tries to collapse but is held open because of positive transpulmonary pressure. As for the chest wall, it has a force trying to spring it outward. However, it is slightly sprung inward because of negative transthoracic pressure. The outward recoil of the chest and inward recoil of the lung create a negative intrapleural pressure. And at FRC, it is negative 5 cm water. If I pull the chest wall, as in case of stab wound, and make the pleural space directly communicated with atmospheric air, because the atmospheric pressure is zero, the air rushes into the pleural cavity, which makes sense because air moves from a region of higher pressure to a region of lower pressure under normal atmospheric conditions. The air rushes into the pleural space until the intrapleural pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure, and becomes zero. As a consequence, between the chest wall and the lung, an air pocket develops. In this situation, the transpulmonary pressure and transthoracic pressure become zero. There would be no pressure holding the lung open and no pressure springing the chest wall inward. You disconnect the chest wall from the lung. Thus, due to recoil force, the lung collapses and a chest wall springs outward. This type of pneumothorax is called simple pneumothorax. It is important to know that in simple pneumothorax, the air can flow in both directions, and a collapsed lung region acts as a pulmonary shunt. It is very important to know that in some cases, tissue surrounding the chest opening may act as a one-way valve. During inspiration, the air comes into the pleural space, but during expiration, it cannot leave out of the pleural space because during expiration, the valve closes. As a consequence, between the chest wall and the lung, the large air pocket develops. This type of pneumothorax is called a tension pneumothorax. The common clinical signs of a tension pneumothorax include respiratory distress, asymmetry of breath sounds, decreased cardiac output because of the positive thoracic pressure and decreasing venous return. And the fourth symptom of the tension pneumothorax is deviation of the trachea to the side opposite the tension pneumothorax. It is extremely important to know that because the air pocket in case of simple pneumothorax is not so much when compared with tension pneumothorax, the trachea deviates to the same side of pathology. This is really important to know. There can also be a spontaneous pneumothorax. This often occurs with positive pressure ventilation at the lung apex. It is very important to note that on a positive pressure ventilator, tidal volume must be sized appropriately. If tidal volume is inappropriately large, alveolar pressure is excessive at the end of inspiration. This causes rupture of the alveoli and flowing air to the pleural space. This is what is called a spontaneous pneumothorax. It is very important to note that a spontaneous pneumothorax often becomes a tension pneumothorax. Hey guys, it's Sumar. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you like it. Actually, if you are not informed still, we at Avicenna team began making much more colorful, 
handsome, informative and high quality videos than this one using new technologies. And for you guys, they are absolutely free. If you watch our videos and like them, and if you want us further make more high quality videos on best complicated topics in medicine, you can help us. First of all, you can help us by donating on Patreon or donating directly to our PayPal account, by subscribing to our YouTube channel and Facebook page, by liking this video if you really liked and enjoyed. Otherwise, thanks to everyone for watching this video and helping us.